All right, guys, welcome to Arizona Deliverance Center. This is the Children's Deliverance Service, okay? Now, I know most of you guys have not been here before in person, right? So I would just wanna welcome you for the first time, okay? So this is how we're gonna do this. I wanna prepare the parents, and then I wanna prepare the kids, okay? So I'm gonna be doing a teaching for the kids, but what I want the parents to think about is areas of your life that you're struggling in, okay? Now this might be forgiveness. Maybe there's somebody in your life you need to forgive that's been on your heart or pushed down, way down that you haven't thought about in a while, okay? Forgive, what do you need to repent for? If there is unforgiveness, you may need to repent of that, right? Okay, so I want you, the parents to be thinking about who do I need to forgive? What do I need to repent for? What do I need to take responsibility for in my own life? And the third thing, do I use my authority that God gave me? Have I been using it over my children or not? Have I been lazy? Have I been complacent? Is there something on me? that's preventing me from stepping into what I need to do, okay? So as you parents are thinking about that, I'm gonna be doing a teaching for the kids. After the teaching for the kids, we're gonna pray for the parents first. The parents are gonna get prayer first, okay? So that's why I want you to be prepared, all right? Now kids, this is your part. I'm gonna do a teaching for you guys, but here's what I need from you. You have to pay attention because there's gonna be prizes that I'm gonna give if you get the answers right. Who wants to play the game? Yeah? You guys wanna play? All right, let's do it. Okay, this is the teaching today for the kids. We're talking about the 10 commandments and love. That sounds weird, right? We have rules we have to follow, but how does it equal love? Who's heard of the Ten Commandments? Let me see your hands. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah? Okay, well, we're going to talk about it today if you haven't heard about it. Here we go. What does the Ten Commandments have to do with love? I think we're going to find out right now. We're going to watch a video. You guys have to pay attention to the video, okay? You have to remember what the video says, and then we're gonna have a quiz. Okay, here we go. The first commandment is, you shall have no other gods before me. Look at the runner, he's coming in first. He's number one. The first commandment is, you shall have no other gods before me. That means God should be number one in your life. The second commandment is, you shall not make yourself any graven image. That is, don't bow down to anything but God. Look at that man. He's bowing down to an idol in the shape of a number two. The second commandment is, you shall not make yourself any graven image. Don't bow down to anything but God. The third commandment is, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Don't use your lips to dishonor God. Look at those big red lips. That is honoring God, and they're in the shape of the number three. The third commandment is, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. The fourth commandment is, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Don't neglect the things of God. Look at that boy. He watches TV all the time and never gives special time to God. And he's inside the number four, reminding us the fourth commandment is, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The fifth commandment is, honor your father and your mother. Look at mom and dad. Oh, they've shaped themselves into the number five, reminding us that the fifth commandment, number five, is honor your father and your mother. Uh oh, look at that bomb. It could kill someone. And it's in the shape of the number six, reminding us the sixth commandment is, you shall not kill. The seventh commandment is, 
You shall not commit adultery. Adultery leaves a heart broken. Always be faithful in one you marry. Look at that heart. Inside is number seven, and it's broken. Reminding us that the seventh commandment is, you shall not commit adultery. The eighth commandment is, you shall not steal. Look at this burger. This thief is trying to steal something. This mask is in the shape of a number eight. Reminding us the eighth commandment is, you shall not steal. The ninth commandment is, you shall not lie. That means we should always speak the truth. Look at that nine. He's lying in bed. He's a lying nine. Reminding us that the ninth commandment is, you shall not lie. The tenth commandment is, you shall not covet. We shouldn't want what others have. We shouldn't be greedy. Look at that greedy man looking through the doorway at the diamond ring. The doorway and the ring are in the shape of the number ten. Reminding us that the tenth commandment is, you shall not covet. Did you guys like that video? Yeah? Does it help to have some pictures? It sure does. It helps me too. Okay. We're going to do a review of what we just watched. Okay. Do you guys think you can remember what we, what we just learned about the commandments? Let's do a test. Okay. And the parents can help. That's okay. The parents can help. What was number one? Who remembers what the most important number one commandment is? Darby, do you remember? Okay. What's your name? Silas, do you remember? No. What was it? No, no gods before me. That's right. No other gods before me. That means God is number one. Boop. There you go. You get a prize. All right. Who's ready for number two? Okay, let's try it. Let's see what we got. Number two, what was the second commandment? Who remembers? Who remembers? Remember the guy was bowing down, remember? He was going like this. What was it? Who's got a guess? Uh, um, um, not bow. Not bow? Let's see. Remember, there's the guy. You shall not make yourself any graven image. No idols. Okay, I think that was pretty good, Nathan. <laughs> There you go. You won one. All right. Who thinks they know about number three? I'll give you a hint. You ready? Here's a hint. <gasps> Those lips. What is it? Uh, the lip turned to a three. Uh huh. It sure did. And we got to be careful with our words. Right? We don't want to take God's name in vain. Yeah. That's pretty good. You're going to have to give your prize to your sister. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, you won one, but we're going to go ahead and give it to sister. Okay, here we go. Here, give it to you. There you go. That's good. Okay, ready for number four? Let's see what it is. You guys want a hint? I'm going to give you a hint. Ah! <gasps> Do you remember the boy? What was he sitting and doing? He was wasting time. Yeah. He wasn't spending time with God. Okay. Are you going to win it for your sister? Yeah? Let's see. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. That's the day when we go to church, right? We go spend time with God. We don't want to sit and play video games all day and watch TV. We want to spend time with God. We can read our Bible. We can read Bible stories, right? We can hear God talk to us through the Bible. Or we can go to church and learn, okay? What about number five? Oh, we got to get a prize over there, don't we? We get, need to get a prize for the sister because I think Nathan did it. All right, sister. Titi. There you go. Okay, number five. You ready? You want a hint? Darby, I think you're going to get this one. Here's your hint. Who are those two adults? What do you think? Okay, what do you think the commandment is? Uh, only listen 
mother. That's pretty close. Honor your father and mother. That's right. Great job. Awesome. I'm going to have to open another one of these. Sister Kelly got this for you guys, by the way. Two Kellys. All right. Number six. What's the sixth commandment? You want a hint? You guys want a hint? Celine, I think you're going to get this one. I think you're going to get this one, girl. Here's a hint. Oh! <gasps> Kill. You nailed it! Great job! You shall not kill. We don't ever want to kill, right? That's all bad. There you go. Congratulations. Okay, number seven. Number seven. Who's ready? Who wants a hint? Me. You want a hint? Okay, here you go. Here's your hint. What do you think it is? Very close. How about committing adultery? That means cheating on your partner, on your wife, or on your husband. We always stay committed to our wife and our husband. But that was close. Close enough for me. But I think you're going to want a different kind now, right? Because you already got an egg. So I'm going to have to give you one of these. You like Twix? Okay, that'll work. All right. You guys want some prizes too? The ministry team? Mom? <laughs> Mom's young. She wants candy too, I can tell. Okay. Let, let's, let's see if she'll get it. My young mom over there. What's number eight? There you go. Do not steal. Do not steal. That's right. Jen's so upset she's getting her Altoids out. She wants something. I know. I know. I know. Okay. Number eight. Two more to go, guys. Two more to go. We got two more prizes. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Thou shalt not steal. Number nine. Ready for your hint? Okay. What is it? The lying nine. Okay, I think you were going to get it too, weren't you? You were going to get one? I thought you knew that one, right? A little bit? After she said it, you knew it? Yeah? Okay, I think that counts. I think that counts. I think she, I think um, Darby won it for the whole row. Oh my goodness. You won it for the whole row? <laughs> what did you do? That's amazing. Great job. Here, they want it for the whole row. Thank you. Look. Nice. Okay, we got to get this row. You guys ready? Y'all ready? Okay, last one is for this row. Number 10. No. You guys remember? I'll give you a hint. We're going to have someone in this row answer it. What's he looking at? He want, he want, yeah, he is. He wants something somebody else has, right? Okay. Do not covet. Great job. Great job. You did it. Now, we got to talk about what this has to do with love, right? We went through the commandments. We know what they are. Thank you. There you go. Okay, we know what the commandments are, but what do they have to do with love? Let's see. Matthew 22, 36 to 40 says this. One of the disciples asked, he said, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Now, we went, just, we went through all the commandments, right? Don't steal, don't lie, don't cheat, right? Which one's the greatest? And Jesus says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. Okay? What's the greatest commandment? Love God, right? And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. 
All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. What does this mean? Love God and love your neighbor? Love God, that's number one, and love people, okay? If I love God, I'm not going to hurt people, right? So that's why loving God is most important. If I love God, I'm not going to hurt people, and I'm going to love people. So this says, notice the first four commandments. The first four say what? Put God first. We know that. There's no other gods before him. We're not going to bow down. That was number two. Respect God's name, right? And respect God's day of rest. See, these are all about God. God, 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 God. They're all about God. Remember, the first most important is to love God. That's why the first four are all about him. Now look at the next six. What happens here? Who are parents? Those are people. Don't kill people. Respect marriage. There's two people in a marriage, right? Don't steal from people. Don't lie to people. And don't be jealous of people. See, the last six are all about people. So we love God with the first four commandments, and we love people with the last six commandments. So if you love God with all of your heart, you'll keep his commandments. And if you love people like you love yourself, you won't hurt them. Isn't that great? How easy is that? We only have to remember two things. Love God and love people. It's easy. And this is how we can keep the commandments. We love God and we love people. Who has questions about this? <laughs> Not you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your question? Um, 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 I have a question that is that, that to... To love people and love God, to listen, listen, like, like, do not lie and um, to not be jealous. That's right. Right. Are you ever jealous of anybody? Yeah, he yeah. was jealous about me. Okay. Well, we'll take care of that today, right? <laughs> we'll just ask, we'll tell God we're sorry, right? And we won't be jealous anymore. What? What's your question? Um... Don't be jealous about your mom. Right, that's true. What else? What other questions? Don't be mean to your mom. That's right. Don't be mean to mom. Right? We got to respect our parents. Honor your mother and father. And why are these so important, guys? Because we love God. That's very true. That's very true. And if we stay loving God, then he's going to protect us, right? We want to be protected. So we obey God, so bad things and the devil can't come after us, right? Okay? Now, how many of us have done bad things? How many of us have, let's, let's ask this question. How many of us have lied? Raise your hand if you've lied. Raise your hand if you've lied. <laughs> Not now, but before. Okay, we've all lied. Okay, raise your hand if you've ever stolen anything that wasn't yours. Did anybody ever take anything that didn't belong to them? Yeah, okay. You never, you've got a, a, a perfect one here. That's good, okay. All right, how about, how about, has anybody ever done something your parents told you not to do? Okay, she can't get away with that one because you're sitting right there. Okay, we know. All right. So what do we need? What do we need, you guys? If we open the door by breaking the commandments, we need something from God, right? What do we need? If we open the door because we break the commandments, the devil can come in. Boop, he can come right in. I don't want to be a liar, but if I start lying, do I have a lying spirit inside of me? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, right? No. If I open the door because I've been dishonoring my parents, there's something called rebellion. It means I'm acting out against my parents. And guess what? You get a spirit of rebellion in there. We got to kick him out. Right? So this is what we do in deliverance. We've all sinned. We all know we're sinners. We all know that we're not right before God. This is why we constantly tell the Lord, we love you, Lord. We're sorry. We don't want to be that way. And then 
Remember, we forgive, we repent, and then we use our authority. We kick the devils out. We shut all the doors. We don't lie and we don't steal, right? And we don't break the commandments, okay? So this is the part where we get to use our authority and tell those devils to get out of us in Jesus' name. Who's interested in that? All right. Awesome. And you know who it starts with, guys? It starts with the parents. It always starts with the parents. Why? Because our parents, they broke the commandments, right? And when they broke the commandments, then the sin goes down to the kids, and then the kids are having trouble. Oh, no. So first, we got to get the parents cleaned up. Then we got to focus on the kids. Does that sound good? Yeah? Okay, well, I think we're going to pray. We're going to ask the Lord to come and help us right now. And then we're going to have the ministry team start praying for the parents. Okay? Does that sound good? All right, guys. Well, let's open in prayer then. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, Lord. For today, I want to thank you for all these families, Lord. You love them so much. You love the parents. A lot of these parents were hurt little kids. A lot of these parents had a lot of trauma in their lives, and they need help, Lord. They're like big kids themselves, and now they have kids they're trying to raise. So we need your help, Lord. Help deliver them. Help reveal to them any any. Um, thing that they need to shut the door on anywhere where they might have had unforgiveness Lord I ask you to help them right now and I pray for the kids right now in Jesus name I pray that their hearts would be open to you Lord that deliverance would come to these families today and I thank you for doing it we know you're going to do it in Jesus name amen okay guys I'm going to have the deliverance team target the parents okay all right I need to grab Jen Hey, I'm going to come right there with you. Hey. Okay, guys. Hi. Good. Have you been thinking about some uh, some things that I talked about? Yes. As far as forgiveness and okay, um, what is it? Um, I've uh, been forgiving, like trying to forgive a lot of people in my life. Um, I feel like I, I've gotten there because I've been working on the miracles. So, oh, amen. Yeah. So uh, who are the big ones? The big ones. Uh, okay. I, I had a big rejection demon for that one. Um, uh, there was that one, um, my brother, uh, molestation, molestation, okay. yeah. my brother, that was that one, um, there was another, uh, man that was my brother's friend that tried to do that to me as well, yeah. when I was 12, um, uh, I tried to deal with that one, I think that one did here. um, let's see, uh, what about yourself? Yeah. You need to forgive you? I need to forgive me as well. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like you deserved any of that? Um, at one point I did. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. I'm still working on that. Idea. That's a lie. Yes, ma'am. You did not deserve any of that. Mom. And you already know through going through this process, right? The devil set you up and he was operating through these other people, right? If you guys can sit down over here, then I'm going to give you some, some more treats, okay? Or if you guys want to go over on there, you can go play over there too. You can go sit. It's up to you in this area. It's delicious, isn't it? You're good. You're good. Okay, so I'm going to, oh, let's pray together, okay? The, the big thing we're going to focus on is you. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Are you raising them by yourself? No, my dad's at home. Okay, awesome. So, is dad a believer? He's on the fence? He's on the fence. Okay, yes. we're going to pray for him, right? Yes, ma'am. You already know what the word says about a praying wife and a believing wife, right? I believe. Amen, sister. Okay, and he blessed you with this family? Okay, perfect. So, he's got you. He's got you. He had you even through all of those incidents, right? So, the parents, they sin, they open the door, demonic things happen to the kids, right? Nobody ever shut the door, but you're shutting it for them, right? Yes, we can. Okay, so that's great. And then he's using your backstory as your testimony. You're going to be able to help others, which is what we're called to do. Okay, so this is super encouraging. All right, I'm going to leave you in a prayer. We're just going to forgive everybody, including yourself, okay? And then what are the things that you're struggling with that you need out still? The rejection, mm -hmm. you have depression, yes, I, do. Yeah, I can see it on you, sadness and sorrow, 
Yeah, a heaviness, right? You don't want to get out of bed sometimes, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's too hard. You have these thoughts in your mind. This is too hard. You have regrets. Yep. I wish I wouldn't have done this or that. Okay. You're going to stop doing that. Okay. You, you thought you were in control, just like I did. I thought I was in control of my life. I thought all the bad decisions I made were me. Guess what? The devil was running me. Okay. Now God is in control. Okay. So even though we walked our own path, he was still in the midst of us. You can trust that you'll be delivered. He'll give you the strength to get through everything. He's not going to leave you or forsake you. You're just going to trust in him, okay? And you're going to fight that devil. Yes. You're going to fight him. Yes. And it's hard with those spirits of heaviness because they make you not want to do anything, right? So then sometimes you need help. So get on the phone call, get on the phone ministry, and call somebody and let them pray for you. And they'll pray for you. You don't have to do it alone. Okay? All right. We're going to pray. You guys going to come into agreement and pray with us together? Okay. Amen. Jocelyn is your mommy's name, right? What a pretty name. she got pretty kids. Y'all are pretty girls. You know that? Okay. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for Jocelyn right now. I want to pray for her heart in Jesus' name. Here, sit down, buddy. I want to pray for her heart. It's out. It's right outside in the hallway. You'll see it right out there. I pray for her heart right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask you to break off all this sorrow. I ask you to break off this depression. Every person that violated her body. Every person that violated her trust. All the heaviness that she's been carrying. Even though she's married, feeling like she's done it alone. And it's all her. And she's the only one that cares. Lord, she's going to repent of that right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I repent for all my negative emotions. I repent for what I've thought about my husband. Lord, Lord, I repent right now. I repent, Lord. I'm so sorry, Heavenly Father. Come, here. Come help me pray. I'm sorry for believing lies about myself. Not believing that you fully love me. Sometimes feeling like you've abandoned me. Sometimes feeling like you've taken your voice away from me and I can't hear you. I repent of all of these lies. Believe in the enemy. I bless my children. I bless my marriage. I forgive my husband. And I forgive my myself right now for all my mistakes, all my shortcomings, for word cursing myself. I break every word curse spoken by me, spoken by my mother, and I forgive her. Who else do you need to forgive? Ask the Lord. My husband's son has uh, first born from another marriage. Tell the Lord. The Lord, I need to forgive him for blessing Celine. I forgive him right now. I know it was that devil. I know it happened to him too. Lord, I forgive him. I know it wasn't you. Or it, wasn't, it wasn't him. What's his name? Junior. Junior? Every evil spirit, every evil spirit, I command you to come out of her right now in Jesus' name. You get out of her body right now. Get out. Get out. Every molester. Every molester. Every molester. You come out now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Cough him out. Hold on. I'm going to get you a bucket. Out. Out in Jesus' name right now. Get out, devil. Get out of her now. Get out of her body. Get out of her mind in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Out. Out, devil. Go, go, go. Girls, there you go. Girls, come sit down. Come sit down, ladies. Come on. Come on. Well, your mom's doing great. Come out right now. Get out of that body. Go, 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 go. You're a deliverance minister. Okay? Do you know that? You've got a calling on your life for deliverance. You're going to help your mommy. You ready? <coughs> Say, come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're delivering my mommy. In Jesus' name. Out, out, out. 
Tell them, out, oh, devil. Say, out, oh, devil, in Jesus' name. Say, out, oh, devil. And hand her a tissue. Just go like that. Give her a tissue. Give her one tissue. Say, okay. Say, out, oh, devil. In Jesus' name. Get out, devil. Come out of her body. All that unforgiveness. Go, 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 go. Go in the name of Jesus. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Every curse. Go. Demons enforcing curses. Out in Jesus' name. Get out. Out of her mind. Out of her. Out of her body. Get out. Get out. Get out, devil. Go, 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 go. Say, out of my mommy in Jesus' name. You don't have to be afraid. Hey, you don't, you don't have to be afraid. Okay? This is how Jesus heals us. Get out of her body right now. Get out. Get out right now. Get out of her body. Get out in Jesus' name. Go. 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 We claim healing for her daughter in Jesus' name. We claim healing. We claim healing. I break every word curse off of mom. Size scare mommy may go chill. Every side. Okay, go. Yeah, go help him. Come out of her right now. Come out of her and do the same. Get out. Go, 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 go. Come out, devil. Come out in Jesus' name. Get out of her. Get out now. Get out of her. Get out of her now. Out. All the way out. Depression. Depression, go. Depression, go. Depression, go. Suicide, go. Depression, go. Suicide, go. Suicide, go. Lord, I'm sorry for believing that lie. Out. That I'd be, they'd be better off without me. Get out. Get out now. Get out now. I repent of that right now. Get out, suicide spirit. Spirit of suicide, go. Spirit of suicide out in Jesus' name right now. Let her go all the way out, all the way out, all the way out of her body. Go, 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 go. Take your poison out. Take your poison out of her body now. Take your poison out. Take your poisons out of her body. Take your fear out of her body. Take your poverty out of her body. Get out now. Get out now. Get out of her finances. Go. Go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. Go, devil. Go, 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 go. Get out right now. Get out right now. Get out right now. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. All the way out. All the way out in Jesus' name. All the way out. All the way out. All the way out. All the way out. Come out right now. Come out of her body. Come out. Depression. Go. Anger. Go. Bitterness. Go. Resentments. Go in Jesus' name. Unforgiveness. Go. Unforgiveness. Go. Silence. Come here. Get out. Get out. Keep commanding him out in your mind. I'm going to talk to your son, okay? Keep commanding him out. Don't stop. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, come here. I'm going to pray for you, okay? In Jesus' name. Come here, Silas. Come help me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's okay. In the name of Jesus, I command all fear to come out of her right now. In the name of Jesus, I command you to let her go now. Out. Out. Every deaf and dumb spirit, every spirit of autism, come out in Jesus' name. Let her go. Let her go now. Come out of her mind. Come out of her head. Come out of her heart right now in Jesus' name. I command you to be healed in the name of Jesus. I command every, e I command every evil spirit to let her go now. Get out. Get out of her head. Get out of her mind in Jesus' name. Come help me, Silas. Come out. It's okay. Come sit with me. I'm going to show you what to do. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Yeah, you know why? Those evil, listen, those evil spirits, when they get in your body, they cause sickness. They, they make you sick. So Jesus is forcing them to come out of her body. That's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Have you ever had an upset belly before? No. Yes, you have. You, you've thrown up before, right? When you got sick, not a lot, but remember when you got sick and you threw up? And after you threw up, you felt so much better. Do you remember that? Remember? You got sick, and then, do you remember? You get sick and you throw up, and then you feel so much better. Your mommy's getting healed. Jesus is taking all the ugly, gross stuff out of her body, so she's healed in Jesus' name. That's amazing. That's amazing. You don't have to be scared, I promise you. Now. I promise you. Okay? Do you believe me? Let me pray for you. Can I have your hand? Come on. Hold my hand. Okay. Come here. Come here. Come on. She will come home. Sit down. Come sit down with us. It's okay. Come here. Come here. We're going to pray. Let's pray. In Jesus' name. You ready? Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. She's autistic. She's not autistic. That's a spirit, too. That's a spirit. She's going to be healed of that. Say it right now. Lord, 
I believe you. My sister is not autistic. You are going to heal her. You're going to heal her like you're healing my mommy. Say this. My sister is not autistic. My sister is not autistic. That's right. Jesus is going to heal her. Jesus is going to heal her. Amen. Jesus, he's going to heal her. And you have fear, right? Fear, no. Yeah, you have a little fear. Remember you were running away? You say this, Lord, forgive me. I'm not going to be afraid. Come out of him right now in Jesus' name. All fear, go. Lord, I'm sorry for everything I did that was bad. I'm sorry, Lord. Forgive me. Okay? Come off of Silas right now in Jesus' name. Come out of his body in the name of Jesus right now. All spirits of fear, go. You tell him, get out now. Say, get out of my body. Get out of my mind. Come off of him right now. Lord, I pray that you would touch Silas, that you would fill him with your Holy Spirit, Lord, that you would kick out every evil spirit that came in from mom and dad, every evil spirit that came in trying to bother him. We break every curse off of his life. Every evil spirit that's come in trying to take his speech, get out of his speech right now in Jesus' name. Come out of him right now. Come out of him right now. Come off of his mind. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing healing me, for making me whole, and for getting rid of fear. All fear go in Jesus' name. Go in the name of Jesus. Get out of my heart. Get out of my mind. Right now, devil. You can't bother me. You can't bother me. Devil, get out of here. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get out of here. Get out, devil. Get out in Jesus' name. You say it. Get out of me in Jesus' name. All right. Let me pray for you. I pray for Celine right now in Jesus' name. We command all fear, all molesters, everybody that touched her inappropriately, come out of her right now in the name of Jesus. We command you to be healed in Jesus' name right now. Every lying spirit, come out of her right now. Every spirit of rejection. Every spirit of rejection come off of these kids in Jesus' name. They are not rejected. Jesus loves you guys so much. He died for you. He died for you. Do you know that? He loves you guys. He's alive. He didn't die. He died, but he came back to life. You know that? We're going to live with him forever in his kingdom. You want to do that? Live forever with Jesus? How amazing would that be? Amazing. Now you're going to fight, right? Devil, get out of here. Right now, in Jesus' name. Okay, what happens if you get scared? What are you going to do? Devil, get out of here. I am not scared. Okay, let's pretend like I'm something scary, and you tell me what you're going to say. Ooh, I'm scary. What are you going to do? Now, out. Get out of here. I am not scared in Jesus' name. I am not scared. Every spirit of fear, get off of these kids now in Jesus' name. I pray for their minds, Lord. I pray for your protection. I pray for your guidance because you love them so much. You guys are awesome. You know that? You're so great. Jesus loves you. You're so handsome. He made you perfect. You know that? He made you perfect. You're so beautiful to him. He knows every part of you. Do you know that he knows how many hairs are on your head? He knows how many. The exact number. More than that. Way more. I don't know how many. There's so many. But he knows. You believe that? Hundreds of thousands probably. So many. Say, thank you, Lord, for my life. Thank you, Lord, for my life. I'm so happy to be part of your kingdom, Lord. I'm so happy to be in my kingdom, Lord. Amen. Amen. Go, Jesus. Go, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come here. We're going to pray for your sister again, right? Who's autistic? Nobody. Right? That's a spirit. We're going to pray for her healing. We're going to pray. Come on. Come here. Let's pray. Let's pray. Come on. Let's pray. Come on. Come on. Yeah, sit right here. Come on. 
Sit down. Okay, we're going to pray for Victoria right now. That evil spirit of autism. She is not autistic. I pray right now, break off of her mind in Jesus' name. Come out of her body right now. Get out. We break your curses right now from mom, from dad. We break your curse off of her now in Jesus' name. Be healed, devil. Come out of her body right now. Get out of her mind right now in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. name. Come out of her heart. Come out of her mind in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Lord, you said I was anointed, Lord. I come against this evil spirit right now in Jesus' name. From the grandmother, we break your power. Every evil curse spoken, every word curse spoken. Out in Jesus' name. Come out of her now. Come out. Come out. Come out of her right now. Let her go. Let her go now. Come out of the body. I command you in Jesus' name. I command you in the name of Jesus right now. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Break off of her now. Break off of her now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I ask you to fill her to break this evil spirit off of her now in Jesus' name. I pray the fire of God against you now, you evil spirit. Come out of her now. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. She is not autistic. That is you, devil. That is you. Come out of her mind. Come out. Come out. Come out. Victoria. Victoria. How old are you? How old are you? Yeah. Autism. Come out in Jesus' name. Autism. Come out in Jesus' name. Victoria. Out in Jesus' name. Tell him. Come out of me. Out of me. Out of me now. Out of me now. Yes. Yes. She wants you out. Yeah, she wants you out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Come out of her now. Come out now. Come out now. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go in the name of Jesus. Let her go now. All the way out. Out of her body. She's going to be healed in Jesus' name. She is going to be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes. Out of her body. You are an evil spirit. You are an evil spirit. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Victoria, fight him out. Tell him to come out of your body. Say, out of me. Say, out of me. Out of me. Out of me in Jesus' name. Out of me in Jesus' name. Come out of me. Say, come out of me now. Come out of me now. Every spirit of autism. We're going to keep praying for your sister, right? Right, in Jesus' name. Come out. Devil, come out in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. How's it going? Good. What are you thinking? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. We come at every Friday. I saw you yesterday. Yes. 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 Awesome. Yeah. But Do you need prayer? Did you get some prayer? I don't think I need prayer. My, our son has really bad eczema and gender. That's fear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we have, yep. Can we pray for him yet? She kind of, he went home still. So. Can you just hold him on your lap? I can, yeah. We can, try. can you make him stay? I can try, yeah. Okay, let's try it. You guys have authority over that. So he can break
You know, it's not there, you know, it's basically, you have something to do with it. You know, it's going to attack you. Is it going to last? That's how we live right now. We live in a world where people just, you know, we're basically in a world where we're fighting all the time. Victoria, come up and out. Your name is Jesus. Get out. 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 You get out all the time in fear from the door. Come out. Anxiety and fear. Come out. Anxiety and fear. Come out now. Come out now. Get out, Victoria. Come out in the name of Jesus. Get out. Victoria, out in Jesus' name. Come out of your inner soul. 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 Yeah, I'm 